Race one here in Silverstone for the RTA Formula 3 Championship is go now as we ride on board with Anthony Conway. It seems to be a pretty good start off the line. He gets past Ben McLaughry there on the left. He's going to have the inside line coming through turn. Oh, that's a big load of oversteer through turn one. And oh, there's a big crash there. That's, I think that's Ryan Smith who's just absolutely cream crack at the back of Conway on the exit of, uh, of turn one there. That's really not an ideal start to this 15 minute 18 lap race and he's going to be chasing down the pack there's someone off there that's that's Jen's deep deep most I think that's pronounced she's a Dane or I think it's she anyway I just haven't heard of anyone being called Jen who's a boy so we'll assume she's a Dane uh, well she is a Dane as we go past uh, that's Steve Steve Hart now this is the most disjointed oh goodness me there's a cataclysmic crash there on, uh, on the inside, and we're trying to go up the inside of Owen Kelly. There's some contact there as we round. The oh, there's even more contact, and it's a spin. Both cars in the wall, and uh, that's really, it really is just the most appalling start to this race. Owen Kelly has a half spin. He goes back onto the grass. That's really, really not ideal at all from Anthony Conway, who races in Irish Formula Vs, if you've seen some of those videos on, uh, on my channel. There's a safety car that's been deployed. Uh, obviously not a real safety car because the set of course doesn't have any of those, uh, but a competitive safety car to uh, to allow everyone to cash up in the interests of fairness, and uh, that's going to just bunch up the entire pack as we're sat now behind Rob Parks, who I think race, races in uh, Northern Formula Ford in the UK, as far as I know, weaving along the Wellington Strait, trying to keep all the heat in the tyres. Uh, that won't be too difficult. The tyres are going to be. Well heated up, having spun twice uh, in the first lap. Um, as we come up to... What corner is this? I'm not quite sure. This is the most disjointed commentary uh, in the history of commentaries, and I have to apologise about that because I'm, I am quite tired. Uh, but enough of the excuses. I think we're going racing on this lap now, and we are away now, up into fourth, and now fifth gear as we fly along the start-finish straight, the old... Pit straight, well I mean it's the pit straight that we're using, but uh, on the full circuit is the old pit straight. And there's two cars battling up ahead, that's uh, Ben McLaughlin and Steve Hart, and uh, Rob Parks is going to be, oh there's a spinner there, someone spun out on the outside, that's uh, that's the other McLaughlin. Uh, Rob Parks goes up the inside of Ben McLaughlin and he absolutely spanners him off into the, well not quite into the gravel, but certainly offline. And Anthony Conway snaps up those two positions like some kind of a hungry fish as we fly underneath. The uh, Silverstone barrier there, or the bridge, I think it's called. As Rob Parks goes around the outside into the left-hander there. I forget the name of it. We're going to try and hold it around the outside. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, there's someone spun off there. I think that's Mark Ivory. And uh, Rob Parks gets the move done up the inside. And now there's two slow cars. That's Steve Hart and Simon Wall, who I think have got a compromised run there out of the final corner. I think they might have been involved with Mark Ivory spinning there. Rob Parks at the inside of Simon Wall there. He gets the move done. Everyone's track extending like there's no stewards. I don't think there is, to be fair. And that's, that's Ben McLaughlin going up the outside there. As we throw it up the inside. Oh, that's a big crash there. It really is. An extremely clumsy move there from Conway. He's taken out uh, Simon Wall and uh, Steve Hart. We're riding on board with him now. You can just see from this replay. This is going to be absolute. Oh, you can see there. that That's just... Oh, it's really not what you want to see. He's just been absolutely pinballed there. And there is absolutely naught that can be done about that. Now riding on board with Simon Wall here. You can see he's just going to get absolutely slaughtered up the inside by, there you have it, by uh, by Steve Hart. And he gets sent off to make friends with the barriers. And, uh, oh, here we have it from Ben McLaughlin's point of view. Trying to go round the outside of just about everyone. He's the youngest driver on the grid. He currently races in go-karts. And you can see there that uh, Steve Hart just absolutely ploughs into uh, Simon Wall there. And uh, nothing he could do about it. Now, this is the other McLaughlin uh, who spun out. And he gets on, oh dear, that's just, oh, it's a big crash on the outside of turn one. And that really, it's not what you want to see, a complete driver error. He seems to have just lost it on the AstroTurf on the outside of of uh, Cop's Corner there. And that's, well, I mean, it's not ideal at all, but here's another replay of it. You can see, it just gets on the AstroTurf and it just unsettles the rear of the car. And then it's hard into the barriers, nose first. And that will have done some damage to the ankles and the knees. Uh, here's Mark Ivory, here's what he saw of it, and you can just see there, the rear end just gets unhappy, 
and uh, completely swaps ends on him. Now here's Ben McLaughlin, a replay of... Uh, Oh, Ben McLaughlin getting absolutely punted on. I think that's the first lap. Yeah, it is. That was the, the big spin out on uh, the first corner. And here's another replay from the back camera. And you just have to say that I think that was Mark Ivory who spun him out. And, uh, oh no, it was Ryan Smith. My apologies to uh, Mark Ivory there. It's a, quite a clumsy crash. It was just a little bit... Little bit too aggressive there, and he's just clipped the back of McLaughlin, and that's just enough to unsettle the car. Now riding on board with Mark Ivory on, I think this is lap two or three. And, oh, yeah, he just gets tagged around by, uh, I think that's Simon Wall. Uh, here's, here's on board Mark Ivory, the nose cam, and, yeah, he's minding his own business through uh, the final corner there. And, yeah, it's Simon Wall. He just... Another clip of the rear end, and it's just about enough to unsettle the car. But now on lap 7 of 18, back on board with Conway, who's chasing down uh, Rob Parks there, coming through the final couple of corners. This could lead. Oh, it's a huge gain through the, the uh, left-hander there, onto the back of Rob Parks. Some serious overspeed going on. Uh, I need to Google the corner names because I'm a dreadful commentator and I've forgotten them. But now, as we fly along the start-finish straight, coming up to Cops Corner, Conway slipstreaming Rob Parks. He's not going to go for a move up the inside or the outside. He's just not close enough. Rob Parks extends the track ever so slightly. Now coming up to turns two and three. I think it's two, two and three anyways. Breaking in a straight line down into this right-hander here, bringing us on to the Wellington Straits. Quite a lot of oversteer there from Conway. That's going to compromise his run going on to the Wellington Straits. We've got Owen Kelly behind us, who's going to be licking his lips and looking for a fight on lap 88 of 18. I do apologise. My uh, voice and words and stuff is just not working correctly, it seems. And again, Conway gaining huge amounts of time on Rob Parks through the left-hander there. And this could lead to a great opportunity coming down into turn one on lap nine. He's slipstreaming Rob Parks all the way down the start finish straight. Parks goes defensive to the inside. Conway sticks it in the middle of the track. He's going to try and go around the outside. It's going to be a little bit of contact there. And Parks just about holds the position up to the inside. You have to say that was some brave racing from the two of them. Enough respect not to punt each other off. And uh, you do love to see it. Owen, oh, goodness me, they're both one run, run wide. I can't speak. That's allowed Owen Kelly to pass Conway. He's now going on the attack. Uh, on the left of uh, Rob Parks there as we come underneath the bridge coming into uh, this left-hander here which I still don't know the name to it's going to be wheel-to-wheel -wheel stuff as we come through the left-hander and Kelly gets it you have to say that's a fantastic move to capitalise on the mistake of Parks and Conway there Conway now right at the back he's going to be looking to uh, snatch up these positions back again but Parks is looking at slipstreaming Owen Kelly all the way down the start finish straight like Conway did to him the lap before he moves to the inside he loves this inside line through turn one he gets the move done on the superior inside line and uh, defends his, well he doesn't defend his position, he attacks it's uh, Owen Kelly who's defending now from Anthony Conway who throws it around the outside scares Owen Kelly ever so slightly and uh, that's really hindered Conway he's run quite wide there and that's going to hinder his run along the Wellington Strait as Kelly now looking to slipstream Owen Kelly and uh, not Owen Kelly Rob Parks all uh, all the way down the uh, Wellington Strait as we come through uh, I've finally managed to pull up the corner names here I can't talk and type it would seem this is Luff well it, it's not Luffield anymore as now we come down the start finish straight Parks goes defensive yet again coming into turn one he really does not want to surrender that inside line so he goes defensive holds it off and this could compromise his run ever so slightly both of them run wide Kelly with a superior run he moves to the right of Rob Parks coming in to the right hander here they're side by side and Parks just about gets head on the brakes but he's run ever so slightly wide and that's going to give Owen Kelly a good run on the Wellington straight they're going to be side by side and Conway's trying to get in the mix now he's going to be slipstreaming Park he's going to try and go in between the two of them it's Park on the left Conway in the middle and Kelly on the right and it's going to be too wide and it's going to be Park who gets the benefit of uh, the inside line there as Kelly gets a sort of a bit of a tank slapper there Conway trying to go around the outside of uh, Rob Parks and that's just not going to work around the outside of Luffield 
that now he's going to be slipstreaming down into turn one. This is a move that we've seen over and over and over again. Parks once again defends the inside line. Conway forced to try and go around the outside. It doesn't work for him. But Kelly's got an almighty run through turn one of Cops. He's got past Conway. He's going to be looking to get past Rob Parks as well around the outside. Parks holds the inside line. He breaks late. And oh no, there's contact there between Kelly and Parks. Parks with a slightly inferior run off the exit of the corner. Kelly with just a little bit too much speed. He taps the back of him. And once again, as we've seen before in this race, that's all it takes to unsettle these F317 cars. And uh, that's more or less ended Rob Park's battle. And uh, almost completely eliminated any chance of a good result in this race. As we come on to lap 13 now on board with Anthony Conway. Maybe seeing a replay of that in a minute wouldn't be uh, too bad at all. Now riding on board with Ben McLaughrey, who's chasing down TJ Baker as uh, ATG Wave there, which is an interesting name. Uh, coming down the Wellington Strait into Brooklands. He's just going to be sussing out TJ Baker, seeing where he's faster, where he's slower, and then maybe capitalising on, uh, on that knowledge. Seems like it's a lot easier to chase in these F317 cars than it is to uh, lead. Uh, purely because if you're leading, you're very likely to have a wet one sent up your inside from about 50 miles back, it would seem, in uh, this RTA F3 Championship. I can understand why it's called RTA. Uh, presumably it stands for Road Traffic Accident, which we've seen an awful lot of in, uh, in this race on the opening few laps. As we come down the... Wellington straight now. We've got uh, Ryan Smith up ahead battling. Um, I'm not sure. I think that car in front of him isn't actually supposed to be in the race. I think it's just someone who's who's joined and um, maybe lucked out the password of the server. Um, but I can't quite read the name. It certainly doesn't seem to be a name that I recognise. But now McLaughlin is... Moving to the left of Parks as we come along the start finish straight. Parks once again defends the inside line, but he presses McLaughlin up to the outside. McLaughlin round the outside. He's going to have to track extend, as does Parks. Parks follows him wide, ever so slightly slower that line. But McLaughlin gets past Parks. He gets a superior run out of Luffield, and that's sealed the deal for him into turn one of Cops. Rob Parks looking for a way past through, um, well, I think it's sort of maggots in between Beckett's. Um, where it turns into uh, the Wellington Strait, but unfortunately nothing can be done there for him. And uh, now McLaughlin, I think, is in P3. I could be mistaken, however. Uh, oh, no, never mind, he's actually behind Anthony Conway. Uh, my mistake, he's in about P... Oh, probably P6 or P7. I don't know, I, I don't have a position counter, unfortunately, because... Data in a set of course of replays is nothing but dismal. But as we come across the line, it's uh, Ryan Smith who takes, I think that's second. TJ Baker who takes third. I completely missed out that it was the last couple of laps. I can only apologise for that, folks. Really caught up in the action here. There's the results. It's Aaron Bell who takes the flag from Jordan Kelly, Ryan Smith, TJ Baker in fourth. In front of Anthony Conway, Owen Kelly, Simon Wall, Ben McLaughlin, Mark Ivory, Jens Deepmos, Rob Parks, who got punted off, Steve Hart, and the other McLaughlin brother. Uh, very unfortunate there for some of them involved in uh, some collisions. And uh, there's the championship table. I'm not sure if that's after this round or if it's after race two that that comes from. I think it's uh, this is round five, but I'm not totally sure. Um, so anyway, I do hope you enjoyed that race. It was certainly a lot of fun. To, uh, to watch and to commentate on. I do hope you've enjoyed. I certainly did. Uh, if you would like to see more of these sort of races, then uh, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, apart from that, my name's been Simon, and I'll see you guys in race two.